and shine, son. You bet that's my boy. Oh, here comes your mother. There's my little angel. Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. What a good boy. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Choco Rockets? Sure. What difference does it make? Good morning, Commander Shay. It is my... Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Once more into the milky breach! It's happening! It's really happening! Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on.
Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Light brown. <sighs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an... Ice cream avalanche! Yay! That's not worse. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! I think I should open it first. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Come on, Grab and Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> huh. Nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to their plight. Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here instead? Take your time. Eating isn't a race. going to love this dinner pill. Tuna casserole. Sorry, I burned it a little. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. Absolutely not. Aww. Thanks 
for keeping it safe. Another day full of amazing adventures is over. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. See you tonight, son. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a great day! Chuckle Rocket? Yikes. No way. Cinnamons. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Jabby lumps? Actually, that does sound kind of good. Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more? What mission should we go on next, sweetie? We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. I'm aboard the distressed vessel, Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. What happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Oh. Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? It was a... Yes? Uh -huh. <laughs> Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Light brown. <sighs> what mission should we go on next, sweetie? Ugh, I gotta get out of this routine. I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay, watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right. No. I can't abort this mission until I've seen it through, no matter how stupid it is. Open up. But this time, take it easy. You're going to love this dinner pill. Either spaghetti or aspirin. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Here we go again. Fattening avalanche, I guess. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plotting the course for Planet Galactica. You're not gonna believe this, but... There was another ice cream avalanche? Yay! Weird. Today. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. See you tonight, son. Time to get up. Up is a pump. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Chuckle rocket. Yikes. No way. Cinnamons. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Nebulumps? 
Yuck. You know I hate that. Soylent Dreams. Affirmative. Food selection approved. Good eater! What mission should we go on next, sweetie? I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one. To System 7. We're gonna crash into Spider Man! Wake up, Bridge Man! We're safe! Bet if I took a dive on one of these missions, that would change things. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choo choo choose that one to System 7. Back to sleep, bridge man. Son, what are you doing? Ah! Shay! What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily! I'm sure you had us made in! <laughs> Woohoo! Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? I don't see any of those weird little screws there. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Just once, I'd like to see a huge flaming asteroid 
hurtling in our direction. Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. It's a tank of comp- It looks like a weird little screwdriver. It works! Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <sighs> It looks like an inflatable raft. I don't think that will help inflate it. I don't think that needs any air. Feel like grabbing some shut-eye, Gary? Gary doesn't get that joke. I don't think that will help inflate it. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa! It looks like a blow up doll of me. Creepy. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. never seen this part of the ship before. You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who... Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny, and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. 
Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function, to keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear, so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Those poor creatures. They're counting on you, young cub. Master has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. I bet my friend Gary could work these controls. Possibly, but there's no need. We have direct control of the ship's cargo boom arms. Would a spoon help? Very little. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. I apologize. It's just that I build them myself hey, and I'm a little protected. I'll bet my friend Gary could work these controls. Possibly, but there's no need. We have direct control of the ship's cargo boom arms. Door is locked. This is a stealth mission, not safe to use the hallways, understand? Some stars on this star chart do seem to correspond to the nav scarf pattern. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Good idea. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spin at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three, two, one. This looks like the place. It does look like a talon. 
Better not go out there while the ship's in high alert mode. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage. Rats! Keep trying. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean, our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cop. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Careful. Got another one! Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. I apologize. It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little... Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? We shall be there in no time. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Careful. Excellent. Securing subject in cargo. Wait for it. Great work! Don't wait forever, though. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. 
I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is... Dang, enemy ships are getting close. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. Gah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> As soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Ah, <sighs> so brave. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Health stats 100% normal, as all- I've tried throwing a towel over that thing, but she always pulls it off. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Ship under attack? Everything's fine. Well, you're half right. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Any luck? No. Still locked out of the controls. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your... Other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you... underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good... instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Merrick. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the Overmother. 
How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver and hope for the best. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. 